Hello and welcome to the Listen to My Radio video broadcasting tutorial series. In this tutorial we will be taking a look at how to broadcast video live to our premium service. The first thing you will need for broadcasting video live is the Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder. To get it simply go to the link highlighted in the link here and click on the download button on the right. You will need an account to download the encoder, so simply set up an Adobe account and uh, select the version you need and start the download. The Adobe account is free, so you can just set it up by clicking on create an Adobe ID here and that's it. Um, after you have downloaded the, the encoder, uh, which looks like this, You need to go to your Listen to My Radio video control panel. The details you need to access the control panel, including the link at which it's located and the username and password you need to log in, were sent to you via email when you bought the package. So let's now go to the control panel. The first thing you need to do in the control panel is configure the server to accept uh, live connections. To do that, uh, click on configure here on the right hand side. Go to plugin and under server type select live streaming. After you have selected live streaming, scroll down and click uh, making sure that the restart service to apply changes option is selected. Click on update configuration. After that is done, just click on the click here to manage your server now link and you will be taken back to the front page here. The next thing we need to do is start up the Flash Media Live Encoder and enable the Stream to Flash Media Server option here on the right. Then we just need to get the details from the control panel and bring them in here. The first is FMS URL. So just select that and copy it to the encoder. Now, the important thing to note here is that sometimes users can uh, copy in a blank space behind the details here, which looks like this. Uh, it's very important that you don't do this because if you do, it can prevent connections to the server and then you won't be able to broadcast, you'll get all sorts of errors. It's important that you don't copy this blank space along, either at the back of the links and other details or at the front. If for some reason you can't connect to the server, just try typing in the details instead of copying them. Uh, usually that fixes the problem if it's related to the blank spaces. The next thing we need to enter here is the stream option, which you can also get easily from the control panel. After you have uh, input these two, you need to set the bitrate of your stream. Uh, before you do that, you can go to configure here and go to limits. Now, this is important because when broadcasting live, you can't go over the bitrate of your package. If you try to do that, it will, it will just stop the server and you won't be able to broadcast. So you have uh, under configure limits here, you have the maximum bitrate of your package, the maximum users you can have, and the bandwidth, which is unlimited, so it isn't really important right now, and the disk quota, uh, that's how much auto DJ space you have, but that's not really important right now either. The most important thing here is bitrate. The thing with bitrate is, uh, the bitrate shown here is the maximum bitrate of your account. But when we are setting up the live settings, uh, we are talking about a combined bitrate of audio and video. The combined bitrate of your audio and video can't go over the maximum bitrate of your account. While that may seem confusing, it's actually very simple. When you choose the bitrate for a video here, you have an option to do that. For example, uh, our account limit is 560 kilobits per second. Under bitrate, if we select a bitrate of 500 here for video, uh, that will work. But 
when we go to select audio bitrate, we need to keep our bitrate below 60 because the combined bitrate of both the video and audio can't exceed 560 because that's our account limit. So here we can select a bitrate of 48. 56 would work too, but 64 wouldn't because 64 would be over the limit. So we can select 56 here. After we have set up the bitrate and audio bitrate, the, you can also select the input device. This will usually be a webcam, uh, but you can use something else. Um, but usually most users will use a webcam here. So select your input device. You can also select the format. Uh, if you don't know what the best format is, you can select H264. We also recommend that you try out the other format and choose what works best for you. For frame rate, you can also um, choose something appropriate that you like. Usually somewhere around 30 is a good choice, 24 in my case, but you can experiment and find out what works for you. Now under resolution, uh, or as it's put here, input size, you can select the resolution at which uh, your broadcast will be streamed. This really depends on how big your picture size needs to be, so you will usually have to experiment a bit here. Uh, but make sure to remember this when you are setting up custom players. If you want to do that, you will need to know the input size of your stream. After you have set up these things, go to the right hand side and click on connect. Now you need to enter the username and password into the following fields. You can get both the username and password from the control panel just like you did with the previous details. Go to services on the left hand side to return to the main page and here you have the username and password. Copy both into the media encoder. Again, uh, making sure that you don't copy any blank spaces. And then click OK. If you copied both in properly, you should see connected here, which means that you are connected to the server with your account. And now just click on start to begin broadcasting. If it says streaming to primary here, it means that you are broadcasting. And now we can take a look if everything is working correctly by checking out on the player. Just go to the media player tab in the control panel and click on play on this player here. And after a few seconds, it should show your stream. That's it. Thank you for watching our tutorial. For more tutorials, please see our knowledge base.